Temple Kutia for Tamil Nadu. After a recent Madras High Court ban on Western clothes inside temples, this group of French tourists went shopping for traditional dhotis before they visited Chennai's Kabalishwara Temple. While these NRA women from South Africa draped saris over their jeans and t-shirts. Uh, it's very important for me to respect our local traditions. So the temple is a very holy place, it's traditional, so I guess some leeway can be made. But uh, if you have the option to do this, why not? The High Court order has prescribed pyjamas, pants or dhotis with shirts for the men and saris, churidas with shawls or stoles for the women. But I don't find anything in that indecent in wearing the jean. For the simple, you're coming here to pray and not to expose and show off. That is what I would say. A full covered dressing is welcome. All of a sudden, if we feel to go to temple and if we are in Western, it restricts, it restricts us to visit the God. The Tamil Nadu government has challenged the court order, quoting an existing law that allows temples to frame their own dress code in tune with local customs. If they have thought about covering, then even this is covering the uh, body only. And uh, in sari, it is exposure only. But still, they say the, uh, to wear half sari and saris, and what's the logic? It's not. Uh, percentage, they don't like to go inside because of this system. The government have to consider to give some relaxation of the dress code to the tourists, at least European. In the past, dress codes put in place by individual temples were not strictly followed. And now, with the government pushing to enforce them, it appears, at least for now, dress codes are to stay in temples across Tamil Nadu. In Chennai, with camera person Edwin, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.